with Brendan, um, just w- where do you see him fitting in? Obviously, was a, a left tackle at Nebraska, played some guard at the Senior Bowl. Sort of where do you where do you see him fitting in for you guys? Yeah, just uh, just how you explained it. Kind of a guard tackle, tackle guard. Um, played mostly tackle at Nebraska. Right tackle, I think, is a freshman, then a left tackle after that. Um, but we think he has some flexibility to guard. So um, it'd be like a guard slash tackle right now. And just um, what do you guys like about Chris Rumpf? I'm a little undersized, but obviously outstanding production in college at Duke. Yeah, you know, what, what really stood out with him is, is uh, his speed, his explosiveness, and, and he just plays with a relentless motor and hustle. Uh, made a lot of plays for them. Um, you know, good technician as a rusher. Obviously, like you said, he has some things to still develop in his game that, that hopefully will continue to come. Um, but we also see, you know, some high-level special teams traits with him because he's very fast, um, plays hard, he plays physical. And, um, yeah, that was an exciting pick for, for our scouts in the room. He was a guy that they liked a lot. Uh, just sticking with the special teams trend, Nick Neiman, we talked, you know, before the draft about, you know, looking for traits. Uh, on, on special teams, he's a guy that made a ton of tackles in college. Has has sort of the speed. Do you see him as as sort of an impactful special teams guy for you guys? Well, he he ran fast. Um, you know, he ran in the low four five. So, um, but yeah, all these players draft on day three. Um, you know, they got to come in and earn a special teams role first, or else they you know it's hard to make the team that way. So you kind of come in, you got to contribute on special teams, and then start to work your way in to a uh, you know to a role on defense or offense. Um, but, uh, you know, for these guys come in this day three, we're trying to find the best players we can. We'll figure it out when they get here. Um, but they got to have some special teams value. And, and Nick brings that, um, you know, uh, very smart, tough, um, has good size, athletic, um, very productive in the Big Ten. So, uh, you know, we think he's got a chance to earn a role. He'll have that opportunity here to come in and compete for playing time. And uh, hopefully everything works out. And he plays against his brother at some point you know, twice a year. Yeah, I, was, I don't know if I cut out, cut out there, but I was mentioning his speed as a, as a positive trait. Um, okay. Last one for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, last one for me. Mark Webb seems like a really interesting prospect, the guy who switched from wide receiver to safety, but obviously big, um, physical, some good athletic traits. Do you guys see sort of a lot of room to grow for him just because he's so new at the position? Yeah, and really, I mean, he played mostly corner this year. He played nickel corner. So he's, he's, a, he's a defensive back for us, um, play corner. Um, maybe even some safety. We'll see. Um, obviously, another special teams player. Um, played in a, a great defense, really well coached at Georgia. Um, played a complicated position there. Um, so he has, he has good football intelligence. He's got good size. Um, and uh, you can tell I've been doing this all week and I'm starting to get fried. Um, <laughs> just lost my train of thought. But uh, no, he's got, like I said, size, speed, athletic ability. And, um, you know, it comes from a really good defense there and, and, and kind of seems as like a big nickel type player. I think we're all feeling that way, Tom. Yeah, I don't blame you guys. <laughs> it's, a long, you. it's a long three days. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. No problem. Dennis. Hey, Tom, how are you? Good. Good, Dennis. Um, do you feel like you got all of the players that you targeted coming into the draft? No. <laughs> it never out we were just looking at the board I mean it looks good I mean as far as the players we took but it's never perfect and you know we had nine draft picks obviously we had more than nine players in that board that we really really liked a lot and um it just happened you can't get every player you want um that's just the way that it goes the way the draft is there's 31 other teams that are drafting and um but all in all um really happy this was a you know, difficult year for our scouts to acquire the information they needed to acquire. They had to do it in different ways. Um, but between getting to know the player with his ability on the field, getting to know, getting to know them off the field, um, talking with their coaches, um, this was an uphill climb for everybody in the league, and, and everyone did a great job. We did a great job here with it. Um, you know, so we're happy. Um, all 32 teams look at their draft right now, and they're really happy with it. Um, once they get here, go through OTAs, go to training camp with a better feel about all of these guys. Um, cause they got to come in and earn a role. That's, that's the biggest thing. And, uh, somewhere on the football team and now the real work for them starts now. Um, and that competition, uh, you know, that competition won't be in OTAs. The competition will be in training camp. All right. Thank you. Gilbert. Hey, uh, Tom, uh, you're running back, uh, Larry, what does it kind of bring to the table for you guys? 
Yeah, you know, he was a, you know, I mean, they're all they're all favorites. Um, but uh, this is one the scouts liked a lot, coaches liked a lot. Um, played very well in the Senior Bowl, but um, a lot of production in Missouri. Um, uh, built well, strong, really, really thick, thick body type. Um, very good pass protector. Um, catch the ball in the backfield, and and you know ran for a lot of yards at Missouri. And uh, you know he's really good game speed. We saw that at the at the Senior Bowl, and uh, we think he can come in and, and you know compete for a job in the backfield, and also compete on special teams too. So like I said, most of these guys are going to have to find their way through special teams first, but we think he can come in and, and compete for a job, and we'll see how far he can take it. It's uh, pretty crowded in that running back room, but Austin and Justin and Josh, uh, do you kind of welcome that competition? Do you kind of just see that playing out in training camp? Yeah, I think everybody welcomes the competition. That, that's how we all get better. Um, you put as much depth and competition as we can at, at every position group and kind of let it play out from there. Thank you, Tom. Jeff. Tom, with uh, Roundtree, is, you mentioned special teams. Is he a guy who could return kicks? No, I don't, I don't see him as a kickoff returner, but, um, you know, covering a kick, punt protection, um, a lot of times that personal protector or the wing, you have to have some pass protection ability. Um, so we'll see where he can fit in there. And then uh, Dennis asked you about the overall uh, draft, but what about the first two, your first two picks in particular? I think you guys have to be pretty, I mean, this set up really well for you. And I think, no matter what happened after that, this this started. It's had to be a really good start. It had to be a really good feeling, just even before get you know, even today, before even starting today, right? Yeah, it's a good point. It's always nice, um, you know, when when you hit on that first round pick, a guy that really everybody is so excited about, um, especially the position that obviously um, we have some inexperience there, so we wanted to add somebody there if we could, if it was the right player. You kind of hit that first one, and everything else can kind of fall into place, and that's kind of what happened. And um, you know, as you get into day two and day three, um, I know you guys get tired of hearing about this, but we're, we're not, we're just not drafting by positions. We're drafting players. So, um, yeah, we may have some crowded position rooms at this point, but that, that's a good problem to have. Um, we can only draft what's on the board. So, um, but, uh, it just so happened with this group. I mean, it's, you know, they're all really big school players. Um, not like it was by design. It just kind of happened, you know, all the way down to our seventh round pick with, with Mark Webb, so, um, but yeah, really pleased, really pleased with how it worked out, and now we've got to get everyone on the field and, uh, you know, see how it works out. Thank you. Yo. Tom, with free agency and now two in the draft, how much better do you feel about your offensive line, even though you haven't seen them play yet? Yeah, no, that's a good point, too. So, um, yeah, I mean, we went into this off season really you know, changing out four starters on the offensive line is kind of a big project to take on. Um, quite frankly, I thought it may be more of a two-year project to do. It's just hard to be able to do that in one year, in one off season. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy with what we have right now up front. Happy with some depth. Um, it's never perfect, but uh, uh, I feel pretty good about it. Now, like you said, it's let, let's see once we get on the field in training camp, see how guys come along. Um, this is a new offensive scheme we'll be running. Um, but in all in all, as we sit here today, um, you know, pretty pleased with the plan that we put together back in February. And as we sit here at May 1st, um, to kind of see it crystallize and go to where we, we need it to go is, is a good feeling. With a new coaching staff coming in, if you were going to switch out or make renovations to the offensive line, was this the best time to do it? Uh, it, you know, it wouldn't really matter. I mean, if you're, if you're not, you know, if you're trying to get better, it really wouldn't matter if it's a new coaching staff or not. Um, so it's probably going to take place no matter what. Okay. And then I know you said there were plenty of guys who you liked on your draft board. Are there any still left that, uh, haven't been picked yet that you could get in some drafted free agents? Yeah. Small, small handful, um, that, that are still up there. I, I think the draft's probably still going on right now. So. Um, you know, our guys are, the area scouts are kind of in a holding pattern, kind of waiting to see. It's always hard when you're an area scout, you see a guy you really like, you want to sign him after the draft, but, you know, just waiting for the draft to end to see if he gets drafted or not. So that's what we're kind of waiting on right now. And, you know, hope we can put a good group together. Our, the area scouts and then uh, Kevin Kelly, Jojo Wooden, and, and Ed McGuire, they run that process. And it's, it's really, it's, it's fun to watch. It's really efficient. 
um, trying to match the talent with the roster spots we have, competing with other teams, um, you, know, ma you know, match the contract language and, and the money that you have to pay out, and to do it all quickly, efficiently, and, uh, and then hit on some players, which, which you need. You need to hit on some of these guys, especially in the salary cap world. So that's what they're working on heavily right now. And then just last thing for me, as far as maybe areas to look at over the next month, as far as maybe filling back in, how, how do you feel at linebacker and defensive back and maybe another alignment or two? I got to take a step back here and, and get my voice back and get some food and drink. I'm going to do that first. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of look after the dust settles and kind of see where we are and see if there's uh, – Anything that we may be able to do with some players that are still available out there. Um, quite frankly, we don't know yet if it's going to be a 90 or 80 man roster, so that would that could affect some things. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll kind of see. But yeah, I'll let the dust settle a little bit and kind of take it from there. Okay, thanks, Tom. Uh, let's go back to Pop. Just had had one more time, just about. The, the scouting process this offseason. You guys drafted players, a few players with the sort of direct connections. Um, you know, Nick was at Iowa with Derek Foster. Josh Palmer was at Tennessee with Derek Ainsley. Um, you know, Chris Rump's dad was um, coached at, at Tennessee with Derek Ainsley. Did you rely on those connections a little bit more this offseason so you had, like, direct intel on players, or is that just a coincidence that I'm reading too far into? Yeah, it's probably a little bit of a coincidence just because a lot of these players, we, we have all the, we had all that information before these guys even came on board. So um, it may have been a quick conversation just to make sure we verify what we have is, you know, is, is, is the real thing. So, but yeah, most of that work was already done in the fall. So by the time we got to February, um, you know, it didn't really make a difference, but it, it is nice to be able to, you know, to go ask one of our coaches, hey, just want to make sure we're good with this, and you know, they give you the thumbs up or thumbs down. So, um, but yeah, a bulk of that work was already done in the pro early in the process. Just more of a, a final confirmation as opposed to like, yeah, just to make sure. I mean, when you're looking at, you know, we start off with thousands of players, we get that narrowed down. Um, there's a lot of people involved in the process. You know, I just want to make sure as we check with different people, just make sure we're good. But um, but uh, I tell you what, it will, it will be a help next year with some of our coaches now that, you know, directly just came from college. Um, that, that will help us ne in next year's draft. There's a lot of players that they recruited either to go to their school or they didn't get, but they recruited them so they know them. Um, and we'll have that information much earlier in the process next year than we do now. So, um, yeah, that will be helpful next year.